We must never give up hope. That's my message for today. I wanna to talk about hope as it relates to chronic illness and chronic suffering and symptoms, whatever it is that you're going through, pain. And I wanna tell you that, I wanna remind you that you do not have to take anybody's words. No doctor, no surgeon, no family member, nobody in society, don't listen. If somebody tells you that you can't heal, don't listen. You must find your own inner strength, your own inner voice. You must cultivate this inner voice so deeply to be able to rise against words that lack hope and say, I will be strong again. I will dance again. I will love again. I will run again. I will be healthy again. I will be full and complete and totally healed. Once again, I will and can do this. No matter how hopeless it seems, I don't want you to believe anybody's words when they say, you have to live with this. You have to manage this. You will always be like this, right? Those words, those people, in my view, are, I have very strong words for these people, words that I don't even use here. But those words that people use can kill people. For destroying hope can destroy everything, right? We have stories of people who lived through the trauma and torture of concentration camps. And, you know, there's stories of people who have held strong to hope that their salvation is coming, that this will be over, that they will be rescued. And there's one beautiful story of a woman who held on through all her sickness because she heard, you know, she heard that the rescuers were coming by a certain date and she was able to manage her strength every single day to, to get up, to rise, to do what she needed to do to get through. And then when that day came, that date came and they weren't saved, she died the next day. And there are so many stories like that. So many stories of you hang on to your hope until a certain time period. And then when it doesn't happen or it doesn't materialize, we give up. And in the giving up, that's the only way that you can lose this battle. So I have to urge you, this is a very short video today. Keep hope. Whatever you have to do, don't believe the lies that anyone tells you, specifically yourself. Don't believe those lies that you're telling yourself in your most vulnerable, weakest, and spiraling moments. Find another voice inside you. Find the opposite voice inside you to rebuttal that voice, to say no, to stand up to that voice. We can do this. We will make it. Hold on to hope. Whatever you have to do, go listen to success stories. Go listen to a story of triumph. Go listen to a story of somebody who had it way worse than you and rose and rose up, but never give up hope. We must inspire ourselves to find hope through other people's stories, through other people's victories and struggles. And we must remember if they can do it, I can do it, right? Just because somebody says it's not possible doesn't mean it's not possible. It is possible. Anything's possible if you don't give up. And all that giving up means, you can stop all your protocols, you can stop your supplements, you can stop everything. You can appear to be given up, but the only way that you truly give up is if you lose hope. So whatever you have to do every day, you inspire yourself with words of hope. And if you can't find them, then you use other people's words of hope. Use my words of hope. You will heal, you will get better. You must hold on, you must not give up. You can do this. You're beautiful, you're talented, you're strong enough. You have a purpose in this world and in this life. And you can do hard things, you can hang on. Keep hope alive, whatever you have to do. That is my most important message to you for, you know, giving up literally is just extinguishing hope. That's all it is. 
and we can find hope within us every single day because what we put in our mind is up to us, right? That's a gift that God has given you, that God has given me, that the universe gives us is that we have control over what we put in our mind and we can put messages of hope, right? And I know you're gonna be hopeless. I know you're gonna have those days where you're hopeless, but you must rebuttal those with the stronger voice of hope or with somebody else's voice of hope. And that is how we get through. That is how we survive one day at a time until finally the day comes when we're free. So keep hope alive. There is hope. Have hope.